All right, so we got the day off today. I'm gonna try and get a few things done on the car. I already ran my errands, and we're gonna do these, hopefully before we run out of sunlight. Uh, so we're doing the side markers. We got the JDM ones. So to start, you just need to push these three tabs in with a flathead. Push them in, that'll unlock them, slide underneath, and they'll pull right out. There's one. Two, three, and then the cover should pull open. I'll get you to the back of the light here. What you need to get to is this 10 millimeter bolt, which is a giant pain in the ass. But I don't have the wrench, so since this is bigger, because I have to use the adapter because this is a larger socket, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but with a little bit of pushing, I can kind of get it in there. So they're a little bit tight, so you just gotta be careful. like I did the 10 millimeter socket earlier. All right, now there's two little tabs, the top and bottom. There you go. These are the tabs I'm talking about. They kind of just squeeze in a little bit. You gotta detach the wire. All right, get your JDM marker, the wire first. You just align the two tabs up and it should snap right back in like that. Don't forget the 10 millimeter. Now put your tabs back in. Make sure to push the little inside part sticking back out again so that will slide in better. Just take the flat side of your flathead and push those tabs back in. And that's it. She's all installed. That's up. And then this is the side we did earlier. There we are. Now we're JDM as well. Oh yeah, forgot to give a shout out to Import Image Racing for the side markers. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, unfortunately on Facebook yesterday they said they're out of their initial stock of 50 of those that they had. Um, they said that there's more on the way. So if you want to put an order in. The other option is if you live somewhere more on the western side of the US, you can get a pair probably from Japan parts. The shipping over to here was a lot more expensive than just ordering them from Import Image. Next, we're putting up the smoked overlays for the uh, the blinker and the uh, hazard light. Just gonna give it a wipe down real quick to clean it. Um, these are from Sticker Fab. I'll put a link for these in the description as well. But for these, I'm gonna do a, a wet application. So I'm just gonna, this is some soapy water. Spray it in there. We're gonna spray the back side as well. Stick it in. And the advantage of the wet is that you can slide it around. So you can line it up. Uh, unless you're real pro, and then you can just stick it in without any wet application. Give it a pat down with a microfiber. This application card from the 3M that I had, so I'm just gonna use that to kind of squeegee out some of the liquid. Key is lining it up to the top. And these are the black overlays from Sticker Fab. They have smoked, they have gray. There's also uh, just a black border around the outside with the clear still in the middle. And there's also a red, which is the other one I almost went with. I might end up doing that later. We'll see how this one looks and feels for me. I know some of you guys are concerned about how dark these would be, but you can look. You can still see through it. So these are actually, they're black colored, but they are translucent. So the light will come through and you can still kind of see the uh, the blinker lights underneath. Stand back, it just looks more black.
Gross. What is this, Groundhog's Day? Every Saturday it's got to pour. Well, I guess there's a couple things I can go to the store and pick up. In the meantime, this is close. We are very close. Picked up a couple things at Harbor Freight, including a pry tool so I can get this thing back out of there. Hopefully it won't break it anymore. And uh, there was a cool little Japanese market right next door, which I didn't realize was over here. Picked up some green tea. Try and fix this thing up. This is the trim piece that's in front of the shifter. I need to pull out to get to the screws in order to pull out that shifter bezel. Unfortunately, the item I thought I could pry it out with, it had no leverage in order to pull that out. So unfortunately I had to use a screwdriver. I was hoping I could wrap it in some painter's tape and it'd be okay, but uh, as you can see it marred up the bottom. Got a couple on the top. These you can't really see when it's installed, but these ones on the bottom are kind of sticking out kind of push the plastic outward. I tried to push it back in with a screwdriver just kind of running it across, trying to squish it back down and just kind of end up scraping the front off a little bit too. This has got to be like the softest piece of plastic. I mean, you can just touch it with your fingernail and it just immediately leaves marks everywhere. Uh, I just took my razor and I kind of shaved the edge off just to get the bumps off again. And I'm just going to cover it over with some carbon wrap. I didn't really want to put wrap on this part, but I want to cover this up and We'll see how it looks. So just like with the other parts, I'm gonna give it a clean off of some rubbing alcohol. This is rubbing alcohol with some water. Just to clean it off, make sure it doesn't have any more goop on it for my fingers. Let's give it a quick measure. So we're at a little less than two. Get the film out, I'll measure it. A little bit more than eight and two. up under these edges I cut a little bit of section for these tabs cut out a little section for each of these little felt parts I guess you could just cover the whole thing I guess if you wanted to the top part doesn't have any of that so I just folded it all over I'm just gonna heat it up now make sure all these uh, little edge parts are pushed in all the way and uh, this should be good to go And we're all done. So moral of the story, make sure you get a good nylon panel remover. Um, but yeah, we'll go put this back on the car. And I will just stick the new one in. Should just push straight in. So now the bottom here looks good. Doesn't have the bumps from the marring. So yeah, it looks better than scuffed. So, careful with that piece. <laughs>